Hi everyone, welcome back to Hollow Knight. Last episode, uh, <laughs> oh, that was a doozy, but on the plus side, we have a double jump now, but, um, yeah, we, we had to fight a boss twice. First time, we didn't get killed or hit. Yeah, we didn't even get hit at all the first time, but we fought him again, like, afterwards in the dream realm, and, uh, <laughs> Uh, um, he's a jerk, by the way. Just thought I'd let you know. Um, I fought him for maybe about 40 minutes. I didn't get the chance to say that on screen last time, but... Yeah, it's like I started learning his patterns pretty well. I had to use, like, the ground pound. I had to use the, uh... This soul move, whatever. My typical move, you know. Ow. But, uh, this episode... Oh, I thought that was a thing there for a second. On this episode, we're actually going to explore the Ancient Basin a little bit more because we only got a little bit of it last time. But now, I have the ability to do more. Yay. <clears throat> There's a uh, Palace Grounds over there. I'm kind of curious what that's all about. Um, honestly, what's this? Higher beings, those words are for you alone. Our pure vessel has ascended beyond lies. Only the refuse and regret of its creation. We shall enter that place no longer. That's a thing. I guess that's a thing that we can come back to eventually. But, uh... What was I said? Um, I kind of lost my train of thought. Ah, well, I guess we're just trying to look for what's around here to see if we can do anything and now that we had the double jump we could kind of uh backtrack all over the place come to think of it but um uh let's go to the palace grounds first anyway that's our first order of business Ooh, it's kind of pretty over here i mean this game's pretty in general oh god all right we can break that open too. So, um, let's let's fight this guy. Oh well, I have to talk to him first. A corpse in white armor. Okay. Guess my dream nail's not strong enough for it. Oh, that's fine. I'm cool with that too. Let's break open this wall since I saw it. I mean, on the plus side, we have all those, um, dream shards. Hidden station. Oh. Yes. Yes, please. And then there's the bench right there. Cool. So now we have another spot. Come here. Because I want to, uh, go to What's-Her-Face first. Oh, Fell off. So uh, let's see. I want to go to the resting grounds. Let's see what we could get for uh, all the dream souls that we got. And also, there is another area with it, too, that we uh, miss. Because if you remember, there was that tree, like, way back, like, when we were first entering this basin. But, eh, whatever. We'll come back to that in a second. Now that I have the double jump, I can definitely do it now. I'm addressed you are a master in the making. Well done, well done. I have a small reward. Luck for my most precious memories. This charm will bring you and the Dream Nail closer together. Still, the secrets of the kingdom won't be able to hide from you any longer. Re return once you've collected 700 essence. More gifts are await you. Okay. Dream Wielder. Okay, what do you do? Uh, charge the Dream Nail faster and collect more souls when striking foes. Oh. That's actually neat. I can get rid of that one thing for it since it's a one charm. Seven dragon deaths. I wonder what the dreamers are watching are watching you as you work, or even that old king. That look at there is desperate but very clever. I wonder how long they thought they it could hold. I hold no disdain for them though. That as history goes on, I grow numb for its repetitions. Take your gift and continue collected essence. Once you have nine hundred, come back and visit me. Hey. Oh, all right. Another soul thing. Alright, so we need 900 now. 
I am going to pin on that badge uh, that we just got. Because that seems like that would be pretty handy. Um, let's see. I want to get rid of this guy because I don't care about Grubson so much. And this badge looks pretty anyway, so yeah. That's a little bit faster. But it's, it says I could collect soul a little bit quicker too, so that's fine. Uh, I want to go to the cane station and I want to try to hit the that one spot from the opposite end, if that makes sense. It's quicker to go this way than the other way. So now I should be able to do it just fine. Let me just save here because it's quicker for me to run from this end. I'll meet you over there in a second. Yep, this is what originally got us down here in the ancient basin because I couldn't do all of this. So I was like, okay, maybe there's something later on for it. But now we're back here and now we can double jump and take advantage of it. And that is so much easier now. I have to say. Uh. Eh. Okay, that's a... Slightly focus. Ooh, boy. I didn't think I was going to make it for a second there. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, so we still need another um, about 150, a little less than that. Uh, Dream Essence in order to Upgrade our nail again, so I uh, wonder how many in total there are. I'm gonna guess a thousand now. Why not? Why not guess a thousand? I've been wrong every other time. There's a lot of dream essence here, come to think of it. There we go. Uh, this should be the last one. Hey, we did it. Cool. Alright, now we're going to work our way back down. I'm actually going to take a look and see what's on the other end of that now that we can move around a little bit. Because there was a lot of stuff in the map that led us to the ancient basin that we missed. Uh, but you know me, I like to backtrack a lot, especially in this game. This game is all about exploration and everything of the sort. So I wonder if they... Nope, still don't have a map for this area, which means this is completely different area. Oh, also for the record, I love this double jump because this helps the fight in the flying dudes like so effectively. Especially when you mix long nail with it. Yeah, there we go. Let me heal real quick before I end up ruining myself. Wow, that's going around in circles. Alright, so let me look around real quick since we've been on this map before together. And maybe I'll find something neat. Nope, guess we're not cool enough for that, but we're at the train station now. I still wonder what opens this up a little bit. There's a hole down there. Hmm. So many secrets. Whoa, you look aggressive. But at least we have a map, technically. That would be nice to open that up as a fast travel point, that's for sure. Here's something that's going to explode on me. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Now, uh -huh. Gotta excuse me for how curious I am about everything over here. Um, wonder if I can burst through. That would be cool. If that was like an option. Nope. I did hear something crumbling though, so. Oh, was it you? Were you the crumbling thing? Hello. My friend, you dealt with all those beasts. I'm ashamed to say I was hiding. Those ghastly things chased me and I ran. If you hadn't come along, who knows if I'd ever have survived. Others 
take me for a fearsome warrior well, with my oppressive size, but this kingdom's beast, I wonder if I'm just no match for them. Ha -ha! Um, well, I mean, uh, your, your screams are loud. <laughs> Cannot wallow in my weakness. I must take strength for your example. Your, you act, you act so confident in battle. You show no fear before your foes. I'll do my best to try the same. Okay, do I get anything for you? Nope. Okay. No, she's just gonna praise me. All right, fine. No. You're not strong enough to beat me, even if you can get hits on me, like, frequently. Oh, what's this? Pale or <gasps> Ooh, we need one more of those, and then we can upgrade our nail again, if we have a bunch of money, too. Because like, I'm sure that's expensive! I was waiting for you. Oh, there's another one, too. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> God, those things make me panic so much. That's good game design, by the way. When, uh... Oh, I, I smoked him. Hey, what do you know? Kind of found a way around. Ooh. Hells yeah. All right, and we also got a grub here. Cool. Gimme. Wonder how many of these there are hidden in the game, come to think of it. Uh, because it seems like we've rescued quite a few. All right, so that's everything here. That was a nice little side trip. Didn't really uh, give me anything super cool, but eh, get our side quests going, you know. All right, so let me take a look and see what's on the other side of this. Oh, I'm thinking of it. It's not with some kind of pass. All right, because uh, that's for that train thingy that we have yet to actually see. But I wonder how you get the pass. This thing runs through. Let me see. Let me pull up my big map, actually, because come to think of it. Um, Kingdom's Edge. No, because this one in Forgotten Crossroads. This is a different place. Hmm. Well, that connects to Kingdom's Edge. Fascinating. Alright, so, uh, I'll meet you when I find something unique and interesting. Speaking of which, uh, I forgot to give all my money to this place. Just drop all Geo and Fountain? Sure, why not? Okay, that gave me nothing. No, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave things off here because, I mean, we know there's this one area of a double jump way over. Well, not even way over. Over the other direction. So, uh, yeah, leave me a comment on my video. Leave me a like. And if you're brand new here, hit that subscribe button. So, until then, as always, this is Riku Roku. Thumbs up. I'll catch you guys absolutely later. And then we get to see something new. Yep. <laughs> something new. <laughs>